Hey, what's up, uh, man versus pin field test. Actually, it's more of like a backyard test. This next pin comes from Ashley uh, with over 100 plus likes. It's the water blob, which has been making its way around the pinosphere this summer. Originally hailing from the clumsy crafter, this pin suggests taking a plastic tarp and some duct tape to create this water blob. However, another pin from Homemade Toast suggests using an iron to fuse the plastic together, which I thought made a whole lot more sense. I got myself a roll of plastic from the hardware store. I picked up the thickest one, which was 6.0 mil. And just in case, grab some duct tape. Then I got myself some parchment paper and folded it in half and marked out a line two inches away from the fold. This will help create a little bit more consistency when fusing the plastic together. Next, I enrolled the plastic and cut off a huge piece that I proceeded to fold in half. Need some water. Oh, all right, we'll put some water in it. But how can we do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Once I lined all the edges, I placed the parchment paper over the sides and with my iron turned all the way up, began to fuse the plastic together, which only actually takes a few seconds of running your iron over it a couple times and voila. Now be sure to give it a sec to uh, cool down. <sighs> ah, and as you can see here, we now have this fused plastic edge. After that, I just simply moved my parchment paper along the edge of the plastic and fused together the three remaining sides. Now I thought this was totally gonna take forever, but the whole process probably took me about 15 minutes. Now right before I reached the end, I left a small hole unfused and large enough to fit my hose into. Mm, that didn't sound right. I made sure to check all of my edges before I wrapped everything up and took it back outside. Once I put it back out on the lawn, I grabbed the hose and began to fill it up. Now you can stay in there like an idiot for 20 minutes while it fills up, or you can prop it up on a chair. Your choice. Now, I warn you, the hardest part of this whole project is probably going to be the anticipation from small children, which apparently is absolutely unbearable. Is it ready now? It's not ready yet. It hasn't been for the past 20 minutes. <laughs> About halfway through, I put in some blue food coloring, which makes it look pretty awesome. It looks like space. Or like space. <laughs> Once it's filled, I just taped up the hole with some duct tape and... Is it ready? It's ready. Now, we fed these kids a good amount of crack before we let them loose, just to see how long this thing would really last under intense conditions. This is awesome. There was a whole lot of jumping. There were some water blob angels some acrobatics, some, uh, some babies. All in all, it lasted about a solid mm, 10 minutes before the first leak was thrown. All right, we've got hole number one. And it really wasn't that bad, just a couple of little holes in the seams of the plastic and the edge where the fusing meets the water. A few of these began to spring up within the first 30 minutes or so, but with a couple pieces of tape, it really wasn't a big problem. That, that is not helping. Oh, there's another one, hold on. Oh, yeah, that just made it bigger. However, all the duct tape in the world won't help you when a child's natural instinct of picking at things completely takes over. I'm picking a hole. I love your hole. Looks like it's, it's peeing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that is wet now. And the water blob has been compromised. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It kind of gave the water blob a second life after the kids' initial excitement wore off. Now it just becomes a small pool, or watering hole, whichever you prefer, because apparently it tastes delicious. All in all, it lasted a good three hours, I would say. The water blob, pretty successful. A few pieces of duct tape here and there, but otherwise, damn fine time. Leave, uh, you know, some fun pins for the summer in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Kids.